Hello our adventurers! Here is our next project. It's called Otter Space. A mixed media project. We're going to use colored pencils, scissors, glue. You can either use, um, well I like to use this kind of glue and you need two pieces of paper. You can use copy paper, white copy paper, and blue construction paper for our background for outer space. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is draw and color our background. So here is the background I did for the outer space. Basically, I used these five colors, white, black, brown, yellow, and blue. So what you want to do is you want to create a starry galaxy sky along with some planets. Now you can make the planets anywhere you like. I made one here and then I made a crater right here. Remember we did our crater project two projects ago. So you should be pretty good at making a crater right now, right? Um, also, you know, actually I used purple for this too. So if you wanna add some purple, you can do that too. So. The colors would be white, black, brown for the otter, yellow for some of the space things, and then the blue, and then also the purple. I have to grab my purple. So we're gonna get started on the background. So first you want to take your blue color, and if you want to do a different color like purple, um, you can do that too. You can also use black. It'll just be a little harder to show a lot of the colors, but if you wanted to just do black, that's okay too. But we're gonna, we're gonna use the blue. I suggest using the blue. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw with our white colored pencil. So I'm gonna start here in the upper right corner and I'm going to make a little bit of a circle popping out of that corner, right? So it's gonna be a planet. And if you wanna make a specific planet, please do. So I'm gonna create ring. As you can see, I'm using my white as a pencil. And then what I wanna do is I wanna create shading on the planet. So my planet's gonna be whiter over here and then darker over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my colored pencil and I'm gonna start shading in the white. So first I'm just doing it very lightly. Don't forget this part over here. And I want my whitest part to be at the edge. So I'm gonna go over the white again. And then color a little more. And then I'm gonna color a little bit lighter white. So see how I'm doing that? And then very light so that my blue acts as my darker color. I'm gonna go in here and add one more shade to blend my real white with the blue underneath. 
That's how you do that. If you want this to be a little more glowy, you can just use a little more pressure. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same like this. Okay, so we're continuing with our white. And what you wanna do is you wanna color this white and then I like to add some yellow to it. So coloring it around here. And you can do the same thing if you want it to be a bit brighter right we use our pencil a bit darker if you want to be a little bit lighter like what I'm doing here I use it very lightly so I think I'm gonna do it a little bit brighter right here to the left and I'm going to add some yellow so take my yellow pencil and I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the white I'm gonna press harder toward the edge here. And then I'll go a little lighter with my white and the rest of the ring part. See, and I'm still letting my blue shine through. Now, if you wanna do a different color Maybe you want to do pink, maybe you want to do purple, maybe you want to do orange or red. That would be cool too. Again, this is not a realistic version. This is your version. So make it how you like it. I'm just gonna do a little more. My planet part. Okay. And then to complete my planet here, I want to add some blue here to the corner because my planet is darkest right around here. So I'm adding some dark blue to the corner. And then I'm going to slowly add it in very lightly to the rest near the blue. That way, see, it looks like it's a gradation. I'm going to do some down here. So my darkest area is right here in the corner of my picture. And then if you want to make it look lot like outer space what I like to do is outline it so I'm outlining it in the blue because that's our background color right so look at that just lets it pop a bit color very lightly with your blue just to give it a little oomph <laughs> and then I'm gonna add stars oh you know what I want to add another planet here so again I'm gonna take my white actually I'm gonna add a crater Again, in my corner, I'm going to make some crater. 
crater holes. All right, we're gonna make it a little jagged. I'm gonna add a little bit of white here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to my moon, or I'm sorry, not my moon, <laughs> my planet. Add a little bit of white. So you wanna give the illusion of it being a round object, so it needs a light section, a sort of medium section, and then a darker section there. So this one, I'm going to add some blue to the holes to make them look like they're going deep into the surface. So sometimes I color it a bit and outline just a little bit. Same here. Okay, so I'm continuing here with the blue. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here as I'm going to outline it in my blue. See that? And then I'm going to add some blue around it to really make it look like it's popping. See, even just a little bit of your blue colored pencil. And then inside, I just want to add some blue. And again, since we want to make it look like it's sort of 3D, we're going to add some blue over here in the corner. A little under here. So see what we're doing. This is our brightest spot, right? And then this is a little bit less bright, and then this is darker. And maybe add some spots that are a little bit darker over here. Really wanna do darker in the corner here. here and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a little more white around my craters and towards the edge here. Isn't that fun? These are kind of three-dimensional, so okay. If you want to stand out a little more, you can color in a little more blue here, closer to your crater. And see, you have this part that you did very lightly with your blue, and it looks really good. So now that we did that, um, you want to make some stars. So all throughout, and you can make more planets if you want. Um, you can make a shooting star maybe. So what I like to do, kind of make all these stars, and some of them are close together. Some of them are not. And some of them are round and bigger. So I'm varying the size, right? 
because I don't want it to look like snow. And the way stars are in the sky, they cluster. And see, I kind of make it look like, sorry about the motorcycle in the background. I realize <laughs> that's pretty loud. I have my windows open as I'm recording this. Sorry. And sometimes I actually make stars. I make them bigger as they're up close to us right here. And some of them I make a little darker and some I make not so dark. So, and it just depends how many stars you want in your sky. Maybe you want a lot. Maybe you only want a few. Kind of like a lot with this one. I didn't do that on the other one as much. But I like this one to have a lot. See how I've grouped together the clusters here. Okay. And then what I'd like to do is sort of make it look like a galaxy. And I'm gonna take my colored pencil, my blue one, and I'm gonna make almost like it looks like sort of rings of blue. here, just to add a little bit of some texture to the sky. And then maybe over here, I want to make it a little bit darker, a few blue. go a little darker over here in the corner. See how I just keep rotating my pencil, right? So that I get some color, but still looks like the color is shining through from our paper. So here is where I want to add a little more dark. So I'm gonna color this in blue. You see that, how it's really starting to pop a little bit? Isn't that cool? bit darker here. Look at that. I like it. So you can even add some white. Right? So it's kind of like milky, almost like misty, just sort of around, right? You've seen pictures of space and there are parts that look misty. That looks really neat. You can even go over some of the stars. And I'm just going in circles. Little spots. Even going on top of the blue a little bit. Yeah, it's really neat. 
So that is our background. And if you want to add a little spaceship over here or some other flying animal, maybe a flying cow, <laughs> you can do that too. So our next step is going to be the otter. And that is going to be on our white piece of paper. Okay, so our next step is our otter. And this is what our otter looks like. Forgot to mention, how cool is this? So our otter, sort of three-dimensional, we make two springs out of the rest of our white paper, just because that's kind of fun. If you want to add other planets that are like this too, you can as well. But I'm going to show you how to do the otter. So we're going to take our pencil and draw the otter. So you want to start off making his face sort of round, right? We always start with shapes. So he's going to be round and his body is going to curve around. So this is part of his hand, this is his body and part of his tail, right? looping around. I'm gonna make more of his body here. That's part of his arm. Actually, I'm gonna make his arm stick out a little bit. Kinda like that. Just the rest of his body, part of his foot. Got a foot here. So as you can see right now, they don't really look like feet. They will. This is his hand. That's his hand. So we're just doing shapes and then we go back for the detail. Okay. Now we're gonna do his two ears. And they're pretty wide, widely spaced. And his head is kind of off to the side a little bit. So here's his ears and they're three dimensional. So we wanna make a piece there. And this one would show here. And then we're gonna make his hair in the middle a little darker. So make a shape like this. Make his eye, his, oh, not his eye, his mouth <laughs> down there. And then his nose, sort of roundish, but then it's shaped a little like this. So it's round on the top and it kind of goes like this and this and then you make his nostrils. He's got some pretty big nostrils there. And then his eyes, kind of football shaped. So if you notice this one goes down a little bit, right? See, they're not really, they're not straight across. This one goes down towards his nose and this one goes down towards his nose like that. Make a little eyeball there. Okay, so now that we have that, we're also gonna draw a space helmet. Just a simple circle. like that. 
And since you want to make it look like glass, you make sort of like a thin teardrop shape there. Okay. So now we're going to move on to our brown pencil. And we're going to start coloring him. So I know we haven't made the shapes for his fingers and his toes, but we're going to do that with our brown pencil. So first, color in his ears, inside his ears. I'm going to do those a little darker. And same with the part outside of his ears. So I should also say, remember, you can get creative with this. If you want to make him look a little bit differently, please do. I always love to see your creativity. So now we're going to kind of outline what we drew. So we're going to outline his eyes because we're going to color in his eyes with brown and then black. We're gonna make his nostrils black, put his nose a dark brown. And I'm just doing it very light when I'm tracing him for right now because we're gonna make this look like fur. So you can go inside the bubble and now is where you want to make the fingers. Just right there. Now you can trace this a little darker. Here is his foot over here. So one two, three, four. We'll do the same here. One, two, three, four. Now you want to make his hands. One, two, three, four. And see, you have some of the pencil lines. So if you have those, you can erase those with your eraser. Don't want to erase your brown. You just want to erase your pencil lines so that it looks nice and clean, just like that. And then we're going to do the bubble blue. But for now, I'm going to do this. Okay, so now we color. So I'm going to color him lighter first. I'm going to color him lighter over here. What I'm going to do, because I want to make it look like fur, I'm not coloring, I'm not coloring really dark. I'm coloring very light and I'm making sure that I also color inside the bubble. So I'm doing everything very light. And then I'm going to go back and make some of the parts darker. And I'm going to add fur. So by coloring it this way, with some of the white of the paper showing, it's going to look like fur. And then I'll add some more darks with my 
colored pencil. So right now I'm just coloring him all brown. See, I'm not worrying about if he's completely colored or even what direction I'm going in. Color this light too in the middle of his head. And then I am gonna color his nose dark brown. And what I like to do is color it dark brown, the bottom, the top of the shape, and then I'm gonna color in the middle just a little. I'll leave like an oval shape of lighter brown. I'm gonna go over this with my brown. Then I'm gonna color in his eye. So I'm gonna outline it and leave that circle white. And then I color in dark brown in the corners of my football shape. Then I'm gonna go back with some black over the corners. So again, I outline it in brown. Color it in with brown and then I get darker in each of the corners of the eye. And then a little bit, just around like that. See, going back, making it dark in the corner there, dark in the corner there. Same over here. Looking pretty cute. So now I'm gonna outline again in black the eye. Same here. I'm gonna outline the circle in the middle of his eye there. And then I'm gonna color in the corners black. And then I'm gonna color black the nostrils. So you wanna do those pretty dark. Okay. And now I'm gonna add some more dark brown here to the insides of his ears. And on his ears out here, I'm gonna make his smile black. And if you wanna make him smiling, you can. I'm now gonna add some fur. So he's gonna have a little at the top of his head here so it can stick out if you like. And I'm gonna keep the fur inside this part that we drew. And I'm just gonna make little lines like this. All these little lines to make it look like darker fur. You just have to be patient. your fur over here some by his nose and maybe sometimes you make it a little bit lighter sometimes you make darker ones I'll go back and make some darker ones especially top of his head 
got some sticking out hairs. Here, I make it a little, a little darker here in the corners. Just like that. I think I'm gonna add some around his eyes too. Kind of looks like he is eyeshadow or not eyeshadow, um, eyelashes. So I'm gonna add some over here. Add some near his ears. Why not, right? By his little cheeks. And I'm gonna scribble a little more of the dark parts. So see, we made them really light. And then you can go and make parts of him a little bit darker. And then you want to give him a shadow underneath his chin. Sort of shaped like this. A little bit of a dark line here. And then maybe you want to color this part in a little darker because that's where his helmet is and again we're going to go back and color his helmet blue okay now we get to adding some more color here First, we want to add some darker hair. I'm going to do in the middle of his fingers, a little darker. So you can have some hair sticking out. You can have some hair down here. So all throughout, right? You add a little bit of dark hair. And then we'll go back and just color it in a little more. show you. Add some more hair here. He's a pretty hairy otter. I'm gonna make in between his fingers dark because there would be a shadow and in between his, his feet too. Then we're just making some hair and we'll do some hair on his tail just making lines as you can see and then I'm gonna go back and color it in a little bit okay so now I'm gonna go back and color it a little bit so I'm gonna make a little bit darker top of his arm here. Make that line a bit darker. See? Coloring that in. And make it darker here. Outline a little here. And I'm gonna make some darker parts all throughout. Right here, I'm gonna make it look like it's a little furry by going up and down. Okay, making it look like his tail is furry. See, I add more darker parts. I'll do it again, up where his arm is, a little bit down, make 
this over here. Get my little hairy. Maybe some hair sticking out over here. The edge. Yeah. A little more of this tail. I mean, you can have fun with it. Toward the edge, each side, I make it look sort of scraggly. I add a little more dark here, and a little more dark to his belly. Over here, a little under his arm here, because there would be a shadow. See how I'm varying my line. Sometimes I'm scribbling a little bit. Make it look like her. Okay. So now we need to do the blue. And you want to make sure that your blue is sharp. That. We're going to do the blue for the glass, right, his helmet. So what you want to do, same thing, you want to trace over your pencil, you're going to outline very carefully. in the glass and then you're going to make another line inside almost like double line another circle because that's going to sort of be the edge You also want to trace your little teardrop shape because you're going to leave that white. And now you're going to color. And same thing, you're going to go light. So you're not coloring the part that we drew here, like these lines. You're not going to color those. You're going to color around him. color a little bit on his body, the blue. And then you're going to make some of this darker blue. So then you're going to press a little harder. You're going to make it darker blue around here and here. So it looks Sort of three-dimensional. And you're going to outline this a little bit. I'll go back and make this darker. And you're going to make a round the teardrop shape of the glass, you're gonna make that darker too. So you're making all of this darker. And then you can go back. And what I'm doing is I'm coloring it in circles, like you see circular motion, like this. And I'm sort of shading. Right, and you can see it's darker in this area, in this area. And then I'm gonna make it a bit darker right by his head. So 
I'm pressing a little bit more just around there. Make it a little darker around here. And we're going to do it darker around this area. And a little bit over here. here. So again, we're doing shading. So you can take your time so that your shading looks really good because you go from dark over here then to a little less dark. And then you go to light. You're just coloring it in just a little bit. And I, what I'm doing is I keep coloring over it to get it even, to get the color even. But I'm pressing really light. Whereas over here, press a little darker. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to cut him out and then he gets glued um, on little strips of paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut him out and then with your leftover paper that you're cutting him out with, you can make two strips that are folded on each other so that it will look like he's sort of bouncing around <laughs> in space. I'm just gonna take your time at this part. take your time, especially around his feet. Okay. <laughs> He's really cute. Okay, now that we have him, now we're just gonna make strips, so. With this one, I made the bottom one the strip bigger, and this one a little bit smaller. See that? So that it rocks back and forth. So I'm gonna do that. So what you wanna do, I just follow right along the edge where it's straight. And I'm just going to cut a strip off. So I know that looks very long right now. So I'm going to cut one smaller and one bigger. So see that? And then I'm going to fold it. Back and forth. See? It's going to be like what's called an accordion. See that? I'm going to do that to both of them. So you're going to fold it in to a little square, but you're going to go back and forth until you 
can't go anymore. And then it looks like a square. Look, you've got all that. Okay, so now that we've done that, here is our background. And our glue stick. So what we're gonna do, so again, I'm gonna put the bottom one, I'm gonna make smaller. I'm gonna use the smaller one and the top one, I'm gonna use the bigger one so that his head sort of pops out more. So here's what you wanna do. You're gonna glue both sides of the squares. This one is gonna get glued to your paper and this side is gonna get glued to your otter. And you're gonna do the same for the other one. So figure out where you want your otter to go. I want mine to go right here. So, a nice generous amount on there. Flip it over and do it on the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this to the otter underneath. Press it. And then glue it down to there. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. Glue on this side. This is to make sure you get all the corners. If you need to use your flat desk or your table, do that. I just do it. Um, I'm pretty good at sort of maneuvering it on my fingers, but not everybody is. And that's okay. All right, so I got my two sides. So same thing. I want to, I want to put this one on his head. So same thing, right? Make sure that it's glued down. And now, I'm gonna do it right here. <laughs> and that, my friends, is an otter in space. <laughs> I can't wait to see yours. So take a picture, <laughs> send it in. <laughs> I can't wait to see these. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon.